come and see all the wonders there will be in my stories, in my songs, in everything where fun belongs. We'll meet heroes, giants bold, visit lands both hot and cold, have magic tricks to shiver your skin, laughs galore with animals in our world of fun. Hi, Piper, hi. I know all of you like to get presents, but I'll bet none of you ever got presents like the ones that were given to the three brothers in our story. They had each gone out of the world to seek their fortunes, and when they decided to go home again, each one was given a gift by his employer. The oldest brother had worked for a carpenter. I made you a wonderful tape. Watch. Dinner is served. Oh, thank you. With this table, I will never be hungry again. On his way home, he stopped for the night at an inn. We have very little here. You'll have to share a meal with the other guests. I wouldn't think of depriving anyone. Dinner is served. Won't you join me? But that night, while the oldest brother lay sleeping, the magic table was stolen and an ordinary table put in its place. The villain? A rascally innkeeper. My son, what have you brought with you? A wonderful table. We shall never be hungry again. Watch. Dinner is served. <laughs> the second brother had been working for a miller, and he too received the parting gift. In return for faithful service, I'm giving you this fine donkey. He won't pull anything or carry any bundles, but watch. Bray! Gold coin! I will never be poor again. But on the way home, he happened to stop at the very same inn where his older brother had stayed. I haven't enough money on me to pay for the meal, but if you'll excuse me a moment, Bray! And that night, the wily innkeeper played the same trick again. When the second son got back to his father's house. I'll soon change your long faces. Our worries are over. We shall never be poor again. Watch. Pray. <laughs> <laughs> well, the third brother had been working for a farmer. This parting gift may not look very exciting, but it will be useful if you're ever in danger. Watch, out of the sack. Oh, now, wait a minute. Why should it hit me? <laughs> it won't. It only hits those who deserve it. Into the sack. So the third brother went off to his home, where things had gone from bad to worse. What's the matter? I've now grown too old to work. Must depend on my sons to support me. We would never have gone hungry again if the innkeeper hadn't stolen my wonderful table. And we'd have been wealthy and never wanted for anything if he hadn't stolen my fine donkey. And uh, what did you bring home from your travels, my son? Just an old stick in a sack. Is that all? Then we're really done for. There's no hope left for us now. Well, we'll just have to go back to work, that's all. And since the innkeeper is now the richest man hereabouts, he's the one we must go to for jobs. Much as the two older brothers hated the idea, that's what they did. Hurry it up there, lazy bones. Why don't you take that sack off? Oh, I couldn't do that. What I have is much too valuable. What can a poor lout like you possibly have in an old sack like that? A thing that's going to make my fortune. That was just too much for the greedy innkeeper. He waited until the brothers were taking their well-earned rest. And then... Out of the sack! Oh, 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 stop it, stop! Oh, oh, please, please stop it now! Give my brothers back the property you stole! Yes, yes, anything! Stop! Into the sack! Oh, oh my... I'll never steal again. So all the gifts ended up with their rightful owners. 
And something tells me that innkeeper never did steal anything again.